Hello and good morning. We are in Bushnell, Florida at Blueberry Hill RV Resort. Bit of craziness going on in the world, right? So we are taking this uh, pandemic seriously, at least what we call seriously. We are doing certain measures like, you know, of course, washing your hands, we're drinking more water, um, a lot of those things we were already doing. And uh, some, how it's kind of affecting us, of course, Walmart, which is right across the street, is out of toilet paper, but we're stocked up, so we don't really need it. Um, not really affecting us that much besides just the hysteria. Um, but the biggest thing was yesterday we heard from our RV resort here, Blueberry Hill, that they are going to be shutting down the common areas. So the clubhouse, all of the activities. Uh, we didn't participate in too many of those lately. We did some karaoke and some bingo earlier. We attended a New Year's thing, but lately we haven't been doing that much with the activities, but it has impacted quite a few people here at the RV resort in Bushnell, Florida. Um, the other thing that it's impacted, which isn't us, is some of the folks here, a lot of them are from Canada, and they, um, some of them are packing up and going home because they're not sure what's gonna happen since they're out of country, uh, whether they'll be able to leave, whether they'll be able to get back into Canada. So they're taking up precautions to uh, head back home uh, a couple weeks, probably earlier than they planned. Uh, what we're gonna do today is we're actually not gonna stay inside. We, uh, we're gonna take a ride on our motorcycles. We might leave our helmets on. That'll be our Corona masks all day long. We've got the full face full face helmets, um, which aren't real common down here. A lot of the no helmets in Florida, a lot of half helmets, quarter helmets. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to Seminole, which is where Chris bought her bike. And she's got some questions about her bike, some things she's gonna do um, there. And then um, we're gonna take a ride over to most likely Daytona Main Street, spend some time on Main Street. Sometime this weekend, we're gonna go back to Iron Horse Saloon and see the, uh, hopefully get a ticket for the uh, Wall of Death where the motorcycles uh, go around. We're gonna to try to go live today and tomorrow at every chance we get. So hit a notification, please, on our channel. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so when we do go live today, which will probably be three or four times from Daytona Main Street, from the hotel we're staying at at the Speedway there. Now, the Speedway, we weren't going to any of the races, and that's probably a good thing because the races actually for today and tomorrow have been postponed until October's bike fest. So um, the good news about Daytona, they haven't really canceled much of the bike week festivities because it's all outdoors. So people are just going around as you would if you were in a town, um, you know, visiting that town, not really large single event gathering, but uh, more of a spread out gathering. Uh, we may step some time on the beach as well. So um, we hope that we can share some pretty good footage today from Daytona and let you see. There's Don, he went to Daytona yesterday. Don, come on in, buddy. So you guys have been here before. This is our first time, but you guys went to the main street yesterday, right? Yeah. And was it different than, has the coronavirus affected it, you think? Oh, hell yeah. So it was, there's a lot less people. We were actually able to walk up and down main street without bumping into people. Yeah? Yeah. There were signs up too. Um, there were certain just places that were closed due to the virus. There were some? On bike week. Yeah. Yeah, the Indian dealer uh, on Main Street. Right. Totally fenced off, signed, closed for the rest of Bike Week due to coronavirus. Wow. And we were talking to a bunch Ridiculous. of vendors and people at uh, Bruce Ross Myers Daytona D D uh, Destination Daytona, and they said they were all doing half as much business as they were normally doing. Uh -huh. So me and Ron, we started saying, "Really?" And we started doing that. <laughs> Just to freak the people out. And they were laughing because they're not taking this serious. It's, yeah. It's kind of a joke as far as I'm concerned. But the funny thing is that's this guy's very OCD with, with germs or anything. So if anybody was uh, quarantining themselves, he probably would It would be me. <laughs> but guess what? It's we're, it, This is a, a flu on steroids as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Oh, well, you know, I don't know. I took two dumps today. So I might have it. <laughs> I, don't think I better go get about 10 more rolls of toilet paper now <laughs> he's not right peace brothers normally I, normally I don't let him on live because I can't edit it <laughs> great people he was a firefighter retired firefighter chief and uh, basically we 
bought these motorcycles because uh, of their influence kind of last year when we were in Texas and, and the fact that Chris always wanted one. So we're going to uh, get these things ready and head over to Daytona. And as I said, stay tuned. We're going to be live uh, quite a few more times this weekend and um, let you know and let you see how it is during bike week during this uh, kind of weird, crazy pandemic times. So uh, again, hit the notification so you'll see when we go live. And uh, for those of you that are tuning in and maybe about the Mad Gab, we were doing a Mad Gab contest this month. Uh, the last week and a half, I've been traveling a lot for business. So I haven't had the opportunity to really um, have another session, but we'll kick those off again after this weekend. So we're gonna enjoy this weekend, Daytona Beach, and then uh, see where things are at with this whole pandemic situation and all of the uh, recommended isolations and quarantines going on, see if the numbers are continuing to go up. And then uh, if that's the case on Monday, we will probably start chilling out. We'll do more stuff around the uh, RV and uh, have more of those Mad Gab sessions and maybe some more lives just to chat about what's going on and how this is affecting everybody. So uh, thanks again for tuning in and we will see you on the next live.